hello 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 um this will be my first vlog so hello youtube i am in the process of getting ready to leave today i'm going out of town i'm going to california so i have a couple appointments to go to this morning that's where i'm about to head to my flight leaves this evening around five so i have a bunch of stuff that i need to get done uh before then so this is what we're gonna do so i just have to hold my phone so as far as me like driving today there won't be a lot of that i look like crap um my hat is like lopsided because i have like two big twists under this i have to do my hair still um my skin is just like greasy which i'm an oily person in general but i look super greasy today because i just moisturized so mm, okay and i'm like kind of irritated because i woke up this morning i'm just looking at my skin and i'm like why do you look like crap I have crappy skin i just suffer from adult acne in general but it's well well controlled and so i don't understand why it's like every time i go to go out of town or i have like something to do or people to see that's when my face breaks out the most it's like it's clear any other time just doing this thing i'm going to work looking nice for no reason and then once i actually get you know to where i'm about to go meet my man or do something with a group of people or lots of people and you know you want to look nice that's kind of when my skin flares up the most it's just like it knows and it really doesn't rock with me so that's what it's on right now but i'm gonna put that behind me because it ain't nothing a little water it's makeup can't cure so therefore <laughs> and it's my first time going to california so i'm like super geeked i'm trying to get everything done today and hopefully i can this is my first vlog i have never vlogged before i've never done any content for youtube before so please bear with me if this is like a little crazy um just because like I don't know what I'm doing but you know what hey you gotta start somewhere so that's my thought process right now I'm just starting somewhere I hate when you get on like a road where it's like a single lane I stay in a really really country part of Florida so it's like highways with just one lane and that's it and I hate that. I like expressways with lights and multiple lanes. I'm from the city originally. So I just don't even understand this concept of travel. It's like outdated and annoying when you're trying to get somewhere. But I am on my way. Like I said, I had a lot of appointments this morning. So I'm on my way to an appointment to get a wax done and the place that I'm going is an hour away from where I stay so that's where I'm currently kind of driving to I had to get up early because I wanted to make sure that I still have time to move on my bags to my car and all of that local cool stuff and get my stuff together because I definitely don't want to be late I don't want to miss my flight and I'm like always stressed out beforehand so yeah definitely I'm trying to make sure this is the least stressful trip i'm off work today i took off the whole entire day even though my flight doesn't leave until later i took off i'm like mm -mm. no thank you no thank you we're just gonna take off and so um i am off and like i said i'll be leaving this evening so i'm gonna go hit up the mall probably which I really don't want to because I was just there yesterday and it wasn't crap but there is another mall out in the direction where I'm going and they actually have stores like real stores and stuff our mall doesn't really have too much of anything so that kind of sucks but hey and um yeah come home and finish packing there are a few packages I need to pick up from my leasing office that I have not picked up yet so I will be doing that as soon as I get home and I'm nervous because I actually ordered a jacket 
last weekend like a crazy person um and a bunch of other stuff and i'm waiting on that jacket to come and i don't know if it's at the leasing office or not and i just didn't want to be disappointed this morning i have two notifications from ups that a package has been dropped off which like i said i ordered a bunch of stuff so um yeah i'm just kind of nervous to go see so that's why i'm waiting until i come back home so that i'll give the mailman from today a chance to drop off a package as well just in case he wants to drop off my jacket i didn't want to check this morning and then it not be there and then me freak out but i think i'm gonna buy another jacket just in case it's not there because i need that jacket and yeah it's just hopefully the one that i ordered came because if it did not honestly like i said i planned a lot of like my outfits and things around wearing that darn jacket so i'm hoping that it's here that would be excellent i won't have to buy another one i won't have to go through like being stressed out probably causing more damn skin issues but honestly if it's not here i'm just gonna buy another one um to be on the safe side and then I could always just take that back I hate kind of like spending money that I don't necessarily need to spend especially when I already ordered something so that is kind of a bummer but I mean hey you can return it it's not a big deal honestly I need to get like a little uh tripod thing or something because honey this angle is killing me my face looks so fat and I have a round face to begin with with like no definition in the jawline so it's like yeah girl show them show them your flaws on the first vlog we we getting real comfortable um shit well i'm actually probably gonna end this here uh just because i need my arm <laughs> it's getting a little heavy i need my arm and then i also want to drink like my smoothie drink some tea and listen to my music i am vlogging on my phone because i don't have a camera yet so we're just gonna do stuff on my phone like i said i'm gonna vlog like the whole trip or at least try to i don't do a lot on the day-to-day -day basis like my regular day-to-day -day life i am um pretty simple i work I work I work and I work some more so yeah like everything I do consists of me going to work pretty much I do other things like little small stuff but nothing so where I really feel like it's interesting maybe later on I'll do like a day in the life and like kind of show you guys a little bit more of what I do but meh. right now we'll just keep it to the like actual exciting things I feel like going to California is gonna be like a bag of fucking fun so that's what I want to record and we will definitely see what's going on. But yeah, so we'll definitely go ahead and wrap this up right here. And then I'll probably get back with you guys after I come from my appointment because I'm not recording that. Mm -mm, there's too many wax videos on YouTube already. Y'all can go watch those and every time it sucks. So no, I kind of like to be within myself at that moment um and i'll go to the mall after that i'm trying to pick up a track suit from dicks as well so i'll probably get back with you guys on that and then yeah show you like the rest of my packing and stuff when i get home but all right guys home i left my appointment uh yeah it went pretty well i actually tried a new place which i did not mention earlier today but i tried a new place a new lady and everything was pretty cool so i'm finished i went and made my stop at dick's and got that stuff situated so i am on my way home now i'm actually starving like i am so freaking hungry it makes no sense so all i had today was a two miles take exit 45 onto county highway 189 toward holt okay girl I had a smoothie and I had some tea and that was the only thing I had this morning and that was around like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock when I first got in the car um, and so yeah, it's now approaching like 12 something and I won't be home until my GPS is telling me like 12.30ish time frame, well probably about like 20, 40, 20 30 more minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop and I'm going to get 
Whataburger because I love their little chicken strip meals and I always get the kids size one because I'm trifling like that. Whataburger's fries to me like they taste like what McDonald's fries want to taste like or what I think they want them to taste like if that makes any sense. Like they're always hot, always fresh, always salted perfectly. Like my food's always hot. Take the exit. Then Everything. keep left toward Holt. Everything is perfect there, so a quarter mile. I like keep left toward Holt. And so that's my plan is to hit Whataburger so I can eat. Go to Walmart because I need a small travel size. Turn right onto Highway 90 West. Contact solution. And then go home, stop at the leasing office to see if these packages are here. Like I said earlier, I need to check my mail. And then I'm gonna go home, finish packing, hop in the shower. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty much gonna uh, go make those little stops and then I'm done. I wanted to take a nap, but honestly, I have to leave at three to get to the airport. It's about 30 minutes away from my home. Maybe not even that much, like 25, but it depends on traffic. Of course, you know, you can never predict the traffic, so. I have to deal with that and then get there. You know, I don't want to be hungry when I get there. That's the worst. Which I can always eat at the airport. But we have... Whew, this is sleep catching up to me. Jeez. We have a really, really small airport. I guess the size of a pea. I always say that. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. And there's, like, nothing in there. And then when you go, like, other places, of course, you have to, like, get on the plane and wait for that. And nobody wants to be hungry. You know while they're waiting to actually get to a nice airport that has food and things of that sort so i'll try to eat beforehand and then eat again i'm gonna make another smoothie before i go to the airport um yeah and that's pretty much it i really wanted to take a nap so you know what i could have took a nap if i would have did my hair last night i knew it was gonna be something i knew i knew that i was gonna be upset with myself for not doing my hair last night i knew it i was like dang something it's gonna be something i'm like i should have just did it last night but as tired as i was it was already like 11 30 i was like no i'm going to bed so maybe maybe we'll see but okay guys all right so i am back i was gonna film me kind of like preparing to get my stuff together for the trip and like doing my hair and no none of that happened because let me turn this hair down none of that happened because uh yeah those three hours went by so fast it was ridiculous i thought i was gonna get a nap no not at all like i'm 20 minutes late from the initial time like i wanted to leave to go to the airport so everything is kind of like eh right now i'm still gonna get there early my flight doesn't take off until um 506 is what it is and so and it's only three like 20 right now so that's not bad like i said it's like a 25 minute drive to the airport depending on how much traffic there is and as of right now as of right now it's looking like this traffic so i'm gonna follow this car that looks like they're smart and it's trying to go around the traffic um i'm gonna do what they're doing because i don't have time for that i guess it might be like after school traffic or something i don't really know i don't care i know i have somewhere to be though so i can't play those games but watch me actually like be jacked up you know went the whole whole wrong wrong way like oh uh, where am i because right now this is looking real real unfamiliar <laughs> i'm like wait a minute Oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't have came this way. Uh, Y'all, I'm like shook right now because I have no idea where I am. I'm gonna just follow them. Hopefully they're like coming up on something. Or matter of fact, I'm gonna just hit this smooth left right here. It's the craziest thing because a lot of these streets are like freaking dead ends or they like I don't know it just looks so strange in this area like these houses don't even look real 
I think I'm literally back where I first came from. I am. Oh my freaking god. I should have just waited. <laughs> when I got home, I was like, oh, I'm going to do it like this and do this and da 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 da. No, none of that happened. I did go to Whataburger at 8. And you know what? I was speaking so highly of Whataburger and like how every time I go there, everything is perfect. And then I actually went there and guess what happened? I ordered an extra fry and they forgot my fry. And yeah, I'm low-key salty about that. So everything was not perfect and I knew it was because I spoke that, you know, into <laughs> the atmosphere. I was talking so highly of them that they were like, girl, we got to show y'all what's really good. We we mess up too. So, yeah, I'm kind of mm, on that. But at the same time, I'm like, I ain't need no extra fry. I didn't. I really didn't. But I did pay for it. So, mm, kind of salty. As soon as I get home, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and stop right now and check and just pick up the two packages that I have at the leasing office and I go in there and I go pick up the packages and she's like, oh yeah, one, two, um, another one. Oh, you got three. Oh, y'all, y'all don't know how happy I was to have three because that means my jacket came and it did, it was there. And so I am so excited because yeah. I was nervous. I was just really nervous. Um, I actually tried it on, and I wasn't really that much a fan of it, which is why I don't shop online, because I'm always disappointed when I get whatever it is. But that's probably because I was looking like diddly crap, and I hate trying on clothes when I'm, like, not cute, because everything looks ugly. Like, everything looks ugly when you try it on and you're not kind of put together and you don't have to be like decked out dolled up but i'm pretty sure y'all know what i mean like have you ever just had like two two braids like how i had two twists earlier no lip gloss on no anything and then you're trying on yeah your nice stuff and it's supposed to look cute and you're like and eh, this ain't giving me the vibe that i was hoping for and it's like well of course it's not gonna be that vibe because you look like crap right now so that's kind of what I guess I was experiencing I don't know for sure tonight when I go to put it on if it still look like crap then hey it's my crap to wear and I'm gonna rock it because it's too late at that point I'm sure it'll be like some awesome shopping and stuff in California but I mean when I pack all these outfits I pack for a reason and I want to wear what I bought <laughs> I don't want to have to like be stressed out thinking hey I need to buy something else to replace what I already have so yeah that's not what I'm into and I'm hoping that that's not really the case tonight and everything goes well so I packed everything I opened up um like my little box from Sephora that had a little bit of makeup in it which I'm really excited because I don't wear makeup I don't like makeup like that just because I have clearly a uh, sensitive skin not even sensitive skin just acne skin and I don't like to put makeup on top of my acne if that makes any sense like i would rather just be out here with it showing versus trying to cover it up because it's like no my pores are already congested they're clogged my body is producing an excess amount of sebum i don't need to put more stuff on top and into the pore that is already clogged so like to me that doesn't make sense i don't like doing that but um if I do wear makeup and whenever I do wear makeup, I like stuff that looks really, really natural. I don't like cake face and I don't like heavy, heavy makeup. Like, you know, glitz and glam eyes, cheeks and all that. Like, I, I don't like all that. And I think it's probably because I don't look nice with it on because I don't know how to do it. Because when I see other people, they look really cute. You know, the girls that do makeup and stuff, they look nice. But me, not so much. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah, so that's that. Uh, but I did order, like, the Matchstick Trio, which um, I, like, opened the shade that's supposed to be, like, the contour shade. And I kind of, like, rubbed it on my hand and, like, smoothed it out. Oh, my gosh. That stuff is nice. It's nice. Like, I'm actually, like, excited to, like, put it on and kind of, you know, do a little something, something, something with it for when we go out while we're here. That'll be something, you know, nice and 
fun to play with. Uh, it comes with a concealer, which is supposed to be like natural, lightweight look. A concealer, a contour, and a highlight. And they are like cream sticks is what they are. So that's pretty cool. Um, they're magnetic. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen the reviews, but it was my first time like actually like holding it, purchasing it, da 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 da. So I got that. Um, I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil because I just wanted to be bougie. Honestly, I didn't need that. I think spending that much for that was stupid. Uh, but you know what? I was like, I'm going to California. Let's do it up. Let's, let's do these brows. And honestly, it's probably going to be the same as all the other pencils and everything else I use. And I really like to use... Um, like an angled brush and then like a, what is it, like a pomade kind of? Not even a pomade, it's not a pomade. It's by NYX and I can't, I don't know, you like squeeze it out of this little tubey and it's soft, softer than a pomade because they have a pomade too. But yeah, I like to use that and that's normally what I use when I do my brows. But I, like I said, I've been trying to keep it really natural. I like a natural makeup look so I think like just going in lightly with a pencil would be really nice especially for this trip i don't want to do anything serious um oh i got the hiccups oh gosh there's police um i also bought photo finish primer which i'm pretty sure everyone has heard of and i bought that because um, if I do go to put like anything on my skin, of course I want to prime my face first. And I've heard like that's supposed to be like the bomb.com. Like that's it. That's you know what beginners start off with, and that's what everybody has. So that's what I went and purchased just to have. And then I also bought a blush from Tarte just to add some color to my face and kind of perk it up. Because I know a lot of times because I don't do really like heavy makeup and get all into it that my face will look really really flat because it's already pretty flat on its own um i don't really have like i said the, a defined jaw or like really sharp cheekbones or anything like that so if i don't put any color or you know do anything to it it'll just look really flat and round so yes that's what we got and i put that in with like the rest of the little makeup stuff i already brought with me my little pouch that i carry that just has like some lip colors that I'll probably want to wear this weekend, you know, like a red, um, a nude, uh, and like a couple like little like springy, pretty scents. I said scents, Lord have mercy, um, colors that I would want to use. Like, oh my God, these people are driving me freaking nuts. Like, get out of the way. Wow. Like, the speed limit is 65. So when the speed limit is 65, I feel like you should at least be going 70, at least, because you can go far over, and people just do not do that. They actually go like under, and I'm like, why? And we only have two lanes. Like I said, it's a, it's a highway, not a uh, expressway, multi-lane, multi-lights, all that. No, it's a highway, and it's a long, very long highway, and it's only one way in the city, one way out of the city, and you have to use this highway. So I hate when people are going uber slow and just like inconsiderate inconsiderate um i also bought some shoes jumping back to like my packages that came because i'm kind of scatterbrained right now just trying to get to where i'm going but i also bought some shoes and with those shoes i bought them to match this jacket that i plan on wearing that i literally bought last no the year before last oh the jacket was purchased in 2016 my man got it for me when we were out at the store because I like Adidas a lot I like Adidas and Nike I just love just everything about Adidas and Nike I love track suits I love workout gear I love all of it that's just my thing so um he actually got me like this bomber jacket and it was like a satin type of blush colored just all and it's all in one color even like the stripes and everything they're just one color and it's like a satin bomber jacket which was really really cute and I picked it up and I was like I kind of like it he's like you like it get it and so 
I purchased it and I literally have not worn it since it's been sitting in my closet and like I said 2016 it is 2018 so what better time than to wear it when I'm going out of town um, and then I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like cooler I've been checking the weather and stuff and it's looking like you know it's kind of wanting to do what it wants to do in California so it's definitely not as hot as it is here in Florida so I'm pretty sure it'll be cool enough for me to wear it once I get down there and then I purchased the shoes to go with them and they came today and I like took them out the box and I was just like eh, these look a little big and then I put them on my foot and they felt a little big like I'm pretty sure I could have went a half size down and did a seven and a half I wear an eight in women's but I'm pretty sure that I could have done a seven and a half and that's probably my fault I did hear people talk about the shoes just because they're like that knit flexi material that the Adidas NMDs so they tend to run a little bit differently I guess and I've heard people say oh I got mine like true to size or oh I went smaller they recommend go smaller or oh they were too tight then or oh, blah 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 and so I went with what I knew and I just went ahead and got the eight just because I'm typically really a true eight, like right on the money. If I'm ordering women's shoes, that's what I need. Um, but this one, I probably could have did a seven and a half. I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, I did have a little bit of room in there, like a lot, like more room than I would like, but I also did try it on without a sock. So, yeah, because I had on flip-flops earlier, and I was like, oh, let me put my foot in this. But even when I do that with, like, my regular tennis shoes, they normally fit. So, I don't really know. We'll see. They're pretty comfortable, and we're going to be walking and doing stuff and, you know, out and about. And I kind of wanted to wear those when we went to Universal because we plan on going to Universal. So, I think those would probably be the ones, you know, to give my feet the most room to kind of breathe. I kind of like to get my shoes to where they fit, like they're a fit, they fit, and then if need be, you know kind of wear them in because a lot of times your shoes will stretch and I don't like big floppy shoes that is not a thing for me so I'm not into that but yeah so I got all of my stuff everything is packed my suitcase is in the back I got my travel pillow I got my purse up here I am ready to go so I'm excited I think I'm about probably coming up here to about 15 minutes away from pulling into the airport so I will talk to you guys later about to go look for some stores around here before heading to the wax museum so young yep young waxy on waxy young i like greasy as shit we like that we greasy we got <laughs> we gonna stay forever young you know so we are out here just walking around trying to get a sight of like some scenery it's pretty decent weather yeah so yep that's it You already got me at a moment to reserve some shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, why was I not recording that the whole time? Oh, Can't record? nope. We're at the Wax Museum. Dang, she just messed up. I the did. Video. I'm sorry. We're finished in that room, taking pictures with everybody. So we're on to the next room. Look at Holly Berry in the cut, right there behind me.
your boy. So we have been out walking around all day and we have made it to Chick-fil-A, which Chick-fil-A in California does not have like an inside eatery. You order at those windows back there and then you literally sit outside at these tables. So that was strange. We're out here, it's a little chilly right now, so it's really, really cold and we are finishing our food so that we could go back to well, the Hollywood Boulevard and then go back home. Where are we at, baby? Uh -oh. This light looks so crazy. It's like beaming off my nose and everything. I don't know if we're in a shoe store trying to get away from all of the cold. And as you can see, my hair looks crazy frizzy. She, she, oh, she. So we're just killing time, looking at some stuff, trying to stay warm. <laughs> be on YouTube too much um, I'm really about to be on YouTube too much in a second um, yeah I was trying to have him record you know to kind of get into the vlog spirit he's like I don't know how to vlog I don't just record me record me I got this but yeah we're about to um, continue walking around here I guess it is freezing my hair started off beautiful it was nice I put some work into it today for nothing cuz as you can see, it's in these little two buns right now, trying to survive. Um, and it's super duper cold out here, so it's kind of, kind of blowing my bus. <laughs> All day, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Except for bring, bring it back. Now let me see you do the love slide. Man, it's too cold, and she out here playing. I'm trying man. to warm us up. That a hey. That's that homeless method. <laughs> Look, the homeless people really do that and they do it for a reason because it works. So if you see them doing it, you should do it too. That's all I know. Let me see you do the love slide. I know people are out here really with like skirts and stuff on and it is so cold that I cannot even imagine that life right now. Like I'm freezing and I have on jeans. And tennis shoes, and I wish I had on more tennis shoes and more jeans. <laughs> Man, you oh. oh, look at that bike down there. light is back all right well i just wanted to come to you and close out this vlog i am at home right now I'm about to make some tea and lay myself down because i feel like i'm gonna get sick i always feel like that when i'm traveling if i'm not getting like a lot of rest and i'm out doing a bunch of stuff i always feel like i'm about to get sick which i feel like right now um it was really cold in California. So to pretty much sum it up, um, I am back home already. Uh, we came back early, early this morning. My flight left Los Angeles at 6 a.m. And then I had a layover for about like an hour and a half. 
in Dallas and then from Dallas I came back to Florida which of course that's where I'm at right now um that was a really really quick trip I'm pretty sure you're thinking the same thing like didn't you just get there yes yeah, so we left out on Friday got there Friday night was there Saturday Sunday and today is Monday morning when we left so it's not morning time anymore here of course because of the time change and then I got here around like two and it's now what time is it like seven or something yeah 6 30 so um I just wanted to come on here and kind of close it out and give like a conclusion I guess you can call it a little brief of how I enjoyed LA which I enjoyed it a lot it was good fun I would definitely say if it's your first time going that you should try to spend more time there like at least five days make your first trip at least five days don't go for like two like we did well two and a half or three anything like that because there's so much to see and to do there's so many places I wanted to like go and take pictures at and we didn't get to do any of that just because we we're so short on time so I would definitely say make sure that you take enough time so that you can actually get out there and do things and see stuff um it was really cold too like I said which you always hear about California kind of being like oh the sunshine and this this and that and it was sunny it really was it was sunny and it was nice in the day but around like four or five maybe even six at the yeah probably like four at the earliest uh it started getting like chilly 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 like it was only in the what 60s when we were there like low 60s at that and then it would drop down into the 50s and tinkering on the 40s and so it was really really cold those nights we were there and of course we're being tourists walking around trying to see everything so we would take an uber to a location that was kind of in the middle of everything we wanted to do and then bounce around from there so on saturday we got up, got dressed, and did the whole Hollywood Boulevard, Wax Museum, uh, Lucky Strike, all of that. And then on Sunday, we went to Santa Monica. So we got up and we actually went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles because, of course, you got to go to Roscoe's. I just feel like it's just you have to do that as like a tourist. But honestly, it's overhyped. So and it's a pretty long wait. Um, we got in pretty quick compared to I guess like the time that they told us so you put your name on the list and then they will call you whenever it's ready they'll like send you a text and when we first got there it was like oh it's a 75 minute wait and yeah it is what it is but we only ended up waiting for like 30 minutes which I felt like you know might as well if I do that in other restaurants that I really want to go to um so we waited and the food was decent like I said it's not like something you have to have to do it wasn't like that good it's really overhyped but um it was it was chill it was food um after that we went back to the hotel we got dressed and what do we do oh we went to santa monica lord so we went to santa monica and we spent the evening at the pier and did all of that and then we went to those shops that are right there um i don't know what they're called and i should probably like kind of look that up and see i don't know though but um definitely i'll try to include that in like maybe the description or something but that was really really fun there's so many shops and so many stores to go into and to buy things and like if you're trying to shop you should definitely go down there because it had probably every store you could think of really that's like you know like the simple stores like forever 21 uh cotton on nike adidas like just all of those lush you know just little simple stores you like to shop in and it had like your upper echelon like designer your rolex your louis vuitton all of that stuff like if you like to shop there too so it was like oh you can get little little simple stuff like some basics and then you can go really do your shopping shopping if you would like to so that was really nice and it was like an outdoor mall had the cheesecake factory of course we went and ate at the cheesecake factory before going back to the hotel that night and then we went to sleep unfortunately and had to get up at 4 a.m to be at the airport so la was a blast i would definitely want to go when it's a little bit warmer so i could have a lot more fun and possibly wear some shorts and not freeze um i would definitely go back for more than just two days that was way too quick and yeah i had a great time i got to spend time with my boyfriend which is most important because that's what we went out there for um so yeah we had a really nice time together and 
I also discovered how hard it is to vlog so this is a lot of work i'm so sorry for the content of this because when you're actually walking and like seeing things and experiencing stuff you don't think to pull your phone out and record yourself it's the craziest thing i struggle with that so that's why the content is kind of everywhere but i promise to come back a lot harder and you know now that i know that vlogging is really hard i'll be prepared so hopefully this isn't too crazy Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with some more blogs. Thank you, thank you.